Superfund is one of EPA's core programs. It manages the cleanup of the nation's worst hazardous waste sites. At the Hamilton Labrie Roads groundwater contamination site, EPA will soon start important cleanup actions. EPA is committed to implementing solutions that will protect the community's health, improve the local environment, and minimize disruptions such as traffic impacts as much as possible. The site, about two miles southwest of Chehalis, Washington, is contaminated with PCE and other chemicals. PCE is also called PERC, perchloroethylene, or tetrachloroethene. It's a chemical used for dry cleaning, metal degreasing, and other industrial processes. PCE and its byproducts can present a risk to people's health and the environment. In 2013, EPA selected an approach to cleaning up contamination. EPA selected the approach with input from the public as well as state, local, and tribal partners. Sometime before 1990, probably due to dumping, PCE got into the area's groundwater. The contaminated groundwater flows west and northwest across the New Walkham River Valley. This groundwater isn't safe to drink. That's why EPA has connected area homes and businesses to the city of Chehalis public water supply. The city water is safe to use. EPA has learned where the source of the contamination is underground, shown here, so that it can be targeted for cleanup. If EPA does not take action to clean up the PCE and contaminated groundwater continues to move down the valley, the contamination could impact some residents and businesses with private wells who are not connected to the city water supply. EPA has already addressed immediate threats to people's health and the environment. EPA removed waste containers, supplied bottled water to affected well owners, and expanded the public water supply to affected residents. This past EPA work has reduced the risk of exposure. The upcoming cleanup will address the source area of contamination at the site. It will also inform any future response actions. Cleanup work will center around the intersection of North Hamilton Road and Labrie Road, west of Interstate 5. Work will include temporarily rerouting Berwick Creek, then thermally treating contaminated soil and sediment under the creek. Thermal treatment, called in situ thermal remediation, uses extreme heat to treat the contamination. Both electrical and steam heat will be injected underground to convert the PCE to a gas. The gas will be captured and treated. A heat barrier will help keep the creek cool. Crews will also use enhanced anaerobic bioremediation. This treatment involves adding harmless microbes to the soil underground to speed up the breakdown of contaminants. Treatment and monitoring wells will be installed. This map shows where they'll be located. Here's where the thermal treatment will take place. Bioremediation will take place here. Monitoring will help make sure people in the environment are protected from groundwater exposure and ensure the cleanup is working. Cleanup will be ongoing throughout the summer of 2020. Active construction will continue for about a year. Periods of minor activity will continue through 2024. During cleanup, a locked fence will surround the area to keep people away from electrical hazards, chemicals, and operating equipment. EPA project staff and contractors will be on site regularly, making sure all parts of the cleanup are working as planned. There could be some limited traffic impacts during cleanup activities. EPA is committed to minimizing these impacts. For 40 years, EPA's Superfund program has worked to protect people's health and the environment. The cleanup of the Hamilton Labrie Roads groundwater contamination site is one great example of how Superfund supports healthy communities across the nation every day.